Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best compact digital camera in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these compact digital camera, you can check out the description below. If you wanna get a best quality compact digital camera according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Fujifilm X10 Digital Camera. The biggest complaints we had with the previous X10 series cameras was the lack of a tilting screen, as well as the poor macro performance of the lens. These issues have been completely resolved with the X10V. For those that wish the camera had weather sealing, this has also been answered, as long as you purchase the optional kit. The Fujifilm X10V delivers pretty much everything you could want from a premium classic style camera. There's a high-resolution 26 sensor with excellent noise performance, color reproduction, and options are outstanding, and the camera gives a unique hybrid optical-slash-electronic viewfinder so that you can truly have the best of both worlds. If you're a fan of video, then the camera almost gives you what you want. There is high-resolution SIN-slash 4K video recording, as well as high-speed Full HD video. However, the lack of image stabilization and the time limits are going to be issues for some. The camera is ideally suited to street photography, or as a general camera that you can take with you wherever you may go. It's built to last and thanks to weather sealing should survive for many years to come, making the relatively high price easily justifiable. The camera oozes quality, with external controls that make the camera a real joy to use. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Panasonic Lumix L-Zone 100 Fork Point and Shoot Camera. The Canon PowerShot G5X is a development of the G7X and features the same large 20 megapixel 1 inch BSI CMOS sensor and bright 4.2 optical zoom f 1.82.8 lens that adds a tilting VARI angle touchscreen, electronic viewfinder, and updated design. The G5X gives more optical zoom than most of the competition with the same sensor and anyone who is looking for a compact camera that delivers excellent image quality good control and handling, as well as a built-in electronic viewfinder, F, the G5X certainly offers a complete package. The number 3 position is held by Leica Deluxe 12.8 megapixel digital camera. The Leica Deluxe Type 109 is based on the Panasonic Lumix Lex10 and features a large 12.8 megapixel micro four-thirds sensor. Built-in Wi-Fi and electronic viewfinder and 4K video recording, the Leica lens is the equivalent to a 24, 75 m lens and features a bright f 1.7, f 2.8 aperture giving high image quality, and a large micro four-thirds sensor ensures that noise performance is good even at higher ISO settings. The built-in electronic viewfinder is another useful feature, particularly if regularly shooting outdoors in bright sunny conditions. With a number of external controls, along with a compact and stylish metal body, the Leica Deluxe Type 109 is a pleasure to use, and we were happy to highly recommend it. Next at number 4, we have Fujifilm X10 off 24.3 MP APS-C digital camera. The Fujifilm X10 F is the latest fixed lens premium compact to join Fujifilm's popular lineup of retro-inspired compacts. Inside the X10 F, you'll find a 24.3 MP APS C CMOS sensor, and new features include an ISO dial built into the shutter speed dial, like the X Proud Wall, and a focus joystick which allows you to change the focus point without taking your eye off the viewfinder. The 100 F is actually the fourth generation of the X10, updating the X10T. And in the evolved version, you'll also find the hybrid viewfinder that can switch between optical and electronic views. Overall, the camera feels great and is a joy to use, so if you get the chance to try it out, we highly recommend that you do. The number 5 position is held by Leica Q2 Monochrome Full Frame Compact Digital Camera. The Leica Q2 Monochrome and other Leica cameras may seem expensive, however, it's because of this that the Q2 Monochrome is able to exist. Without Leica producing unique cameras and smaller numbers, this camera most likely wouldn't be possible. Leica is to be commended for producing a monochrome version of the Q2. The camera is easy to use and has premium build quality with weather sealing. 
making this a camera that should last many years without issue. The camera gives direct access to aperture, shutter speeds, and focus, however, to access additional settings, there's an FN, function button, and command wheel, but little else, meaning you may end up going into the menus at times, wishing there was a quicker way of accessing settings. There's a high-resolution monochrome 47 full-frame sensor, which, when combined with the Leica 28 f 1.7s lens, is able to deliver extremely sharp result. The camera also offers an extremely quiet shutter, something that could be of particular interest to some shooters. You can also record 4K video with a choice of C4K, cinematic 4K at 24th, 4K UHD video recording at 30 slash 24th, as well as full HD at up to 120th. All in monochrome, of course. For those looking for a monochrome digital camera, the full-frame Leica Q2 monochrome camera with a Leica 28F slash 1.7 prime lens is unique in being one of very few options. Thankfully, the Q2 monochrome delivers high image quality and has the build quality and experience expected from a premium camera brand. The number six position is dominated by Ricoh GR Roman 2 digital camera. The Ricoh GR Roman 2 is an update to the Ricoh GR and features a number of updates including built in Wi-Fi and NFC, improved white balance, noise performance, effects modes, as well as the capability to wirelessly control external flash units. Features carried over from the GR include a 16 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, plus a 28 equivalent F 2.8 GR lens which produces images that are very sharp and detailed. The Ricoh GR Roman 2 may seem like a subtle update to the previous camera. However, the camera offers built in Wi Fi and NFC, bringing the camera more up to date. Improvements have been made in continuous shooting, and the camera feels very rapid in use. For those that want a pocketable camera that can deliver high image quality without the need for optical zoom, then the Ricoh GR Roman 2 would make an ideal solution. Moving on to the next and number seven with Canon PowerShot digital camera. The Canon PowerShot G7X Mark Roman 2 is the update to the G7X and is a serious compact camera with a larger than normal 20 megapixel one inch sensor. And it provides excellent image quality with a bright 4.2x optical zoom lens while still being pocketable. For those who want a compact camera with a larger than normal one inch sensor, and a longer zoom than most other serious compacts. Then the G7X Mark Roman 2 certainly delivers high image quality and rapid speed. With Wi-Fi and NFC built in, in, there's very little lacking from the G7X Mark Roman 2. And it's easy to transfer images, as well as control the camera with your smartphone remotely. The Canon PowerShot G7X Mark Roman 2 would make an excellent choice for those that don't want to take a bigger camera with them, but also don't want to compromise on image quality or control. The number 8 position is held by Panasonic Lumix Lex 10 Roman 2. Shooting with the Panasonic Lumix Lex 10 Roman 2 is a pleasing experience, as the camera makes it easy to change settings without having to dive into the menu system. Focus is rapid and exposure is reliable, meaning that you can shoot confidently and trust that you are going to get good results when you view the photos later. The screen and EVF are both very good, which means you can use these to confirm the quality of your shots while out and about. Color reproduction was very good, and we were impressed by the results we got back from the camera, with the new sensor and lens combination delivering sharp detailed photos. A tilting screen would be nice, as would a built-in flash. There will be times when there just isn't enough light, and the separate flash unit is another thing to forget or lose. 4K video recording produces good-looking video with good levels of detail. However, the crop factor is something to be aware of as the lens becomes equivalent to 30 to 90 form instead of 24 75 m. The camera gives mirrorless flash DSLR image quality with a bright f 1.7 zoom lens in a compact, pocketable metal body, making it easy to fit into jacket pockets and take with you where you might not want to take the bulk of a DSLR. Next at number 9, we have Canon Power Shotgun X Mark Roman 3 digital camera. The Canon Power Shotgun X Mark Roman 3 features the same 24 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor as Canon EOS Digital SLRS, but in a much more pocket-friendly size. There's a wide-angle 3x optical zoom lens on the front, equivalent to 2472, with an f/2.8 aperture at the wide-angle end of the lens. There's a built-in electronic viewfinder, f, plus a 3-inch bari-angle touchscreen 
Noise performance and color reproduction are excellent with true DSLR image quality and similar controls to those found on a Canon DSLR. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Sony R-Zone 100 EI 20.1 MP Premium Compact Digital Camera. The Sony CyberShot RX10 Roman 3 is designed for those who want better landscapes and portraits and is only 90 heavier than the RX10 Mark Roman 2. The Mark Roman 3 features a new 24-7 Tim equivalent wide-angle lens and a build-in pop-up viewfinder. As well as improved autofocus modes, the camera features a tilting screen that tilts to face you. The Sony CyberShot RX10 Roman 3 features a 1-inch 20.2 megapixel backlit CMOS sensor that delivers impressive noise performance and excellent image quality. The RX10 Roman 3 takes the already impressive RX10 Roman 2 image quality and gives an impressive new 24-7 Tim lens that is brighter at the telephoto end and for those that want an electronic viewfinder. The EVF in the RX10 Roman 3 is excellent, larger than most, and very neatly tucks away, keeping the camera compact and pocketable. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.